home ownership. Many consider it part of the American dream, and for a while, the government did all it could to put a house in everyone's hands. Over the past 20 years, the government relaxed standards and encouraged banks to hand out more mortgages. And in the beginning, this was great. People were able to afford a bigger home, banks flourished with the influx of new customers, and the housing market boomed. However, not everyone believed that this was a healthy, self-sustaining market. Some believed we were heading towards a disaster. The government bristled at this idea, especially Representative Barney Frank. This is not the dot-com situation. Homes that are occupied may see an ebb and flow in the price at a certain percentage level, but you're not going to see the collapse that you see when people talk about a bubble. NYU economics professor Noriel Rubini, a.k.a. Dr. Doom, was not convinced. In 2006, he said, when supply increases, prices fall. But since 1997, real home prices have increased by about 90%. There is no economic fundamental that can explain this. It means that there was a speculative bubble, and now that bubble is bursting. Shortly after, he was proven correct. Eventually, the initial low interest rates began to rise and people's mortgages caught up with them. Housing prices, already inflated from the new demand, could not keep up and prices began to drop. This emergence of subprime lending, or those that would not have been normally given out under the old standards, led to massive foreclosures and empty lots in the end. Of course, the government got involved. Frank, along with Representative Chris Dodd, led the charge to new financial regulations and reform, at the same time condemning the bank's practices. But wait, didn't the government want these banks handing out these mortgages? Didn't they want everyone to own a home? Doesn't sound like the American dream to me.